Okay, listen, the CW sports drama All American mm -hmm. is gearing up for its season finale with just three episodes left mm -mm -mm. in season five. Can you believe it? I can't. Today, I also can't believe this. We get to chat with one of the stars, Michael Evans Bailing. He plays Jordan Baker, as we know, a football player working to fulfill his father's legacy after his death while still grieving alongside his family. Get out of your head, all right? And you did. Yeah, until I walked out of class. Yeah, but you were amazing before that. I was okay. No, Liv, you killed it, all right? It was like... It was like whenever you'd make me film you being a Beyonce backup dancer back in the day. <laughs> Side note, I always appreciated you letting me jump in despite how much I sucked. Friendly reminder, you still suck. Oh, come on! I held my own in there. I was like Sean Patrick Thomas and saved the last dance. Come on. <laughs> yeah, I don't even think a Julia Brown offbeat white woman could help you. <laughs> oh, no! Okay. Michael Evans Bailey joins us live uh -huh. this morning. Hello, Mike. Hello. I love when we have stars and they watch themselves on the screen. What did you think of that scene? I, I love that scene. Yeah. I think that was a really fun scene. I actually struggled with that scene a lot. I kept saying Sean Patrick Taylor as a, as a <laughs> Sean Patrick Thomas. Um, so we, we struggled, but we got it. We, we got it, as you see. You got it, you yeah. got it. Well, it's always a pleasure to talk to you. Been with the show since day one. Yeah. Do you bring a different sensibility? To the show every time since you have seen its evolution, or do you are you still the same Jordan Baker? I mean, I think that there's growth, you know, from the beginning, from from season one to season five. Absolutely, yeah. there has to be growth, right? Yeah. Otherwise, you know, you can fall flat. Yeah. So I try to bring a little bit of different, you know, bits and pieces. So uh, season five, the beginning half of the season, I really tried to lean into the comedy mm -hmm. um, because I knew what was coming. With, yeah. Well, you know, with, uh, with Billy Baker, unfortunately. Ah. R.I.P. Right. R.I.P. Yeah. Spoiler <sighs> alert! If you haven't oh. heard. Hope you have. R.I.P. Tay Diggs' character, your dad, mm -hmm. Billy Baker. He was on our show not too long ago. Oh. That's right. Mm -hmm. uh, now. Yeah, he was on the show. He was on the show. And he, untimely death. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just lost my train of thought. I'm sorry. Okay, so the, obviously it's hard to, that, that was a huge part of the season. Sure. Yeah. I, again, I'm sorry for the spoilers. I was not caught off. It was hard to avoid. So here we are. Here we are. Talk about. Because he was a huge part of the show, yeah. your father, just in general. <clears throat> how, how do you shift and, and move on from that as yeah. a cast? As a cast, um, it's just there's there's less jokes and giggles oh. on set. There still is. Don't get me wrong. We still have a blast. Um, but he was definitely the driving force yeah. Yeah. for a lot of the you know the comedy that we would you know the videos that we would make off set and right. things like that. Um, and we, you know, we lost our our, our TV dad, but yeah. still our set dad to a degree. You know, the, the most right. seasoned. Actor on the well, show. I was going to say, when you first got the call that you were going to be on the show, mm -hmm. um, Tay Diggs, he's as fine as he wants to be. He's been around for a minute. And y everybody Which is my way of saying he's aging nicely. Okay. Did you... <laughs> he's a good looking man. We, we a... got you without you. No, but what was your... I, I know the interactions you had with Tay mm -hmm. at, at the, the beginning, but talk to us a little bit about that, because I think that truly helped sort of bring the cast together, because he was the set dad yeah. in addition to the, like yeah, you said. I mean, he was, like I said, a set dad, and he was like a set coach for yeah. me. You know, coming in, being my first role. Were you nervous um, at all? I wasn't nervous just because, and I've talked about this, I didn't know who he was. That's, oh! I see, I wanted you to say that. So I didn't want to I say knew, that. I knew you were I didn't want to say it. So whenever I booked it, I called my mom and I told her who you know, was going to be playing my dad. She was over the moon. Like, your, mom was, you know, your mom was flipping out. My mom, my sister, my grandmother, they were over the moon. Uh, I was like, okay. Okay. Cool. He's a nice guy. He's a yeah. great guy. And, you know, he's been able to, you know, te uh, I've learned a lot from him, yeah. for sure. But uh, I wasn't necessarily nervous. I was nervous just to be able to work, right. but not necessarily because of Tay. Right, right. Um, but, you know, you, you talk about him being, like, the set dad, and he was kind of, like, obviously the patriarch of the show and, and kind of the, that beacon of light. Yeah. But mm -hmm. I have to just, a side note, Jordan... He the just character you he, play. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. Jordan's character, or uh, Michael's character. He is that warm, fuzzy, like, he is the guy, like, I feel like he's just kind of a warm hug. Yeah. yeah. He, it, you're just, your character is such a sweetheart. I imagine you're the same way in real life. Um, okay. <laughs> I try my best. He, he's just, it's hard not to love him. So right. for you, was that... Was there any preparation that was required to get into that? I mean, or are you just playing are you your sweet no. wholesome self? <laughs> Mike, That's come on. very, very sweet of you to assume. I mean, I mean, to a degree, yes, uh, being able to play a little bit of myself here and there. But um, I think what was tougher was being kind of 
you know, the, 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 the mean character mm. early on, mm -hmm. where he was, you know, you know, kind of digging at Spencer and being the mm. hothead that he is. I still loved you know, him, though. Jordan is, is quick to throw hands, or he was right. quick yes. to throw hands. He's evolved. He's, he's, he's matured, evolved, he's, right? he's evolved, he's grown. And so we, we get to see kind of this warm, cuddly version of Jordan, mm -hmm. this love, uh, this lover boy, yeah. this CLB, if you will. Right. Um, <laughs> certified lover boy. Yep. From, you know, Where's LL Cool J? He you know, might want to ask if yeah. he can license that. Drake said it best. <laughs> um, but no, absolutely. I think with every relationship that he's been in, with yeah. Simone and then with Layla oh, as well, yeah. um, he definitely just leans into he the He leans love. into it. Absolutely. And your character leans into it, and I think one of the reasons why this show, from my perspective, has been so successful is because it resonates with real people. Yeah. And mental health, I, I applaud Hollywood, I applaud media for finally saying, why are we ignoring the fact that we have anxiety, we mm -hmm, have problems? Mm -hmm. It's reflected on the show. Because mm -hmm. you talked about at the beginning, you were not so necessarily nice, but you were struggling to find your own identity. Correct. Which may or may not have mirrored your real life. Absolutely. Right? Uh, absolutely mirrored my real life. I mean, growing up, you know, between the ages of, you know, probably 13 to even 21, I was becoming more self-aware, as you do as a young man. And I, I can remember just fighting this, this idea, because I was adopted as well, mm -hmm. living in a white family in a very, very white um, area. And I was fighting this, pushing away this, 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 this black side of me, yeah. if you will, because I didn't feel like I fit in. Yeah. And uh, Jordan did that, you know, for the first half of the season. I think it kind of the catalyst for him was whenever Spencer moved into the home. Mm. Um, you know, he saw Billy connect with Spencer yeah. in a way that Jordan never could right. over 18 years. And so that, that was really hard for him. But to be able to do that for myself within the show was almost therapeutic. Right. That's a very interesting... Art imitating life. I was just going to yeah. say, it's what a real life kind of metaphor. Yeah. Yeah. There really is so much to be learned. All right, you're very active on social media. <laughs> yeah. Specifically uh -oh. Twitter. Specifically Twitter. Well, well you know we, what? We, we, yeah. Specifically Twitter is where we're going to go because you lost a blue check mark like the rest of us. You sure. lost a blue check mark. I, that part you, of I, your identity. How are you doing? Done. You know, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Happy to hear it. You know? There he I'm, is. I'm not going to pay the five bucks or whatever it is. I, it, it was a dollar. It, it could be a penny. I'm not paying. No it. way. It's the principle. Oh. Stay strong. Exactly. Yes. Right? It was, exactly. It was if Elon thing. wants to gift it to me, <laughs> by all means, go crazy. That and a Tesla, you'll be fine. Sure. Yeah, me too. EVs, I'll, baby. I'll go Save check out up. SpaceX, too. There we okay. go. <laughs> uh, you seem to, you connect with your viewers. You connect with the... I with do my the, best. Yeah. Um, I saw I saw something where you were singing. What what kind of music does Mike listen to? What are you listening what to? Was I, what, what was I singing? I don't remember, but you were in the car and you have a very nice voice. Oh, oh. every single season. So I have this thing. I don't uh, know why, but at the very beginning of every single season, I film myself driving into the first day of work, just getting hype, getting Love excited. That. Um, His own hype man. Yeah, I like own, it. <laughs> my own hype man. I like that. <laughs> yeah, and so I've done it consistently. Um, I don't remember what I what I sang this past year, but recently I've been listening to SZA. 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 Yes. yes. Okay. We love SZA. Love we her. love SZA. Um, Khalid. Yeah. Yep. Um, I'm really trying to think about. I, I've, I've listened to. I'm not a big country music fan. Mm. She is, which is shocking. I'm so to me. sorry. It's, it's okay. all right. But still love Morgan you. Wallen. <gasps> Last drink, night? Drink last night. Last something. night. Last it, night. Lee, Lee, Lee let, let the, the liquor yeah. talk. That was okay. great. I actually asked Brittany to put this in the show yesterday, and oh, she delivered. excuse me. Yeah. Um, what's your favorite song right now? Your go-to. Uh, oh, it's a tough that's, one. That's, I that's, couldn't even so think of songs. one of my favorite I know. Songs. It's um, like, that was a question from upstairs. But I'll, I'll have to get back to you on okay. that. Okay. Right. He'll get back to you. All right. So you love music, not country music. It's fine. Yeah. Obviously a part of a hell of a show. Yeah. What's next for Mike? Vacationing. Good for you. Enjoying I love that for you. Off. Enjoying the time. Do you off. have a good spot that you like to go, or you don't want to say so you don't want your adoring fans to go? No. no. Flocking there. <laughs> I recently was in Miami, and that okay. was fantastic. Oh my God. Is that a vacation? That's more of a party. It's well, they're both kind of going hand in hand, don't they? <laughs> yes, right. They do. Um, I mean, next I'm gonna go up to Hawaii. I'm gonna oh, I've never you. been to Hawaii, so oh, I'm gonna go see what you. that's like. Go see the North Shore. Just yeah. go relax. Oh my God, I love you know. that so much. You were a competitive track runner mm -hmm. you did track do you mm -hmm. still run do you do it for fun do I do you? run for fun yeah I ru do fun runs yeah. fun runs no um, <laughs> yeah no I just do jogging to get yeah. stay in shape cardio he's a runner like he's a track star Precisely. he's a runner and he's a track star and he Precisely. likes he likes a woman to not filter her picture so ladies you know, you've been doing your research Marisol don't put the Paris filter on like that if Marisol doesn't show up tomorrow it's because there's a restraining order has been filed <laughs> <laughs> I'm a journalist. I took a deep dive. <laughs> I took a deep dive. You did. Mike, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you for having thank me. Thank you for lighting up our screens every week with a show that's truly relatable. It really is. It is. As, I, the, <sighs> as the mama of two boys, mm. who, by the way, 
I wanted my son to be a model too. Um, I thank thank your mother for me. I will because she did a good job. I will. Yes, ma'am. And don't tell them not to kill you off anytime soon. I Please, will, we I've, can't I've, handle anything else at this oh. point. I will do my best. Go okay. do your thing. I will do my best. And How leave, could you kill this facha and off? And leave that jacket before you leave. I'll, 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 I'll <laughs> leave it in your room. I got you. No thank problem. You so much. <laughs> New episodes of All American air Monday at 8 p.m. right here on Picks 11.